The feeding tube should be inserted into the mouth to the right or left of midline. Entering from the side will reduce the chance that the mouse will bite the tube. Little to no resistance should be encountered as resistance can be an indicator that the tube has entered the trachea. In addition, administration should stop immediately if fluid is noted bubbling from the nose. This is an indicator of aspiration. Now please watch dosing with an alternate restraint technique. Compound administration should be controlled but swift as taking too much time could result in animal distress, but instilling compounds too quickly can result in reflux. The entire volume of compound should be administered before the feeding tube is withdrawn. The mouse should be observed after the procedure to make sure that the respiratory rate and effort is within normal limits. Once the mouse is determined to have been gavaged successfully, it should be returned to its cage.